Our next speaker is a photographer and a designer here in Ann Arbor. Please welcome Peter Baker. So I wanted to tell a story about space, Florida, and disappointment, which all kind of go hand in hand for me now. Like a lot of kids growing up in the 80s, space was a really special concept to me. It was a fictional setting for all these great stories like Star Wars and Space Camp and the Explorers, but it was also a place that we were literally beginning to explore. It was, it was all becoming kind of real to us. You could actually go to Space Camp. And the thing that kind of made all this possible was the space shuttle. The space shuttle was making space sort of tangible to us. Um, there were launches all the time when, when I was a kid. And it wasn't just pilots and rocket scientists going up. They were sending professors and, and teachers. And the Apollo mission had, had just wrapped up. And then we go and build ourselves this reusable, sort of comfortable space RV. Um, so skip ahead 25 years. The space program is pretty routine. And after 130 missions, people aren't really paying attention to it much anymore. And then after the 2003 Columbia disaster, the whole thing was deemed too costly, and this guy decided to cancel it. Boo. <laughs> so skip ahead another five years. The shuttle program's winding down, and only then did I realize I've never been to a shuttle launch. So I talked to another photographer friend of mine in New York, and we decided we'll go, and we'll shoot this whole story about it. And one of the things that always fascinated us both about the area was, was where it all took place. Cape Canaveral was in what's called the, the Space Coast. And the Space Coast obviously has NASA employees living there, but it's also in Florida. So, of course, it's filled with tourists. And what do tourists in Florida inevitably want? Souvenirs. And this place had them. Stuffed bear astronauts, inflatable shuttles, little shuttles, big shuttles, pink shit, cheap shit, whatever you wanted. But really, the tourism industry had faded years ago, and we couldn't help but notice that the Space Coast was, was kind of sad. We saw this fading community with little of the spark left from the age of the right stuff. Um, space, space travel was becoming privatized and decentralized and less reliant on NASA. Everywhere we went, we were reminded that this is where we used to send people into space. There were uh, Little League fields with shuttle mascots, fast food play structures with shuttles on top, even the local school is called Astronaut High. And then this great little museum run by retired NASA employees that was just filled with the personal collections of maintenance people, engineers, all the people that really built this stuff. Everyone we met was really proud of what they had been doing for the last 30 years. And so, sorry, one, one lady we, we also met uh, had, had witnessed over 100 space shuttle launches, like almost all of them, and she spent the better part of her life working there. Everyone in this area had taken part in building this 2,000-pound, 2,000-ton, 18,000-mile-an-hour space plane. So anyways, let's get to the launch. <laughs> over a million people were packing themselves into the Space Coast that day. Uh, some had camped out in Space View Park the night before. Uh, others brought their own RVs down, and they were posting up alongside the roads and causeways. <laughs> but we needed to get a special spot. So we, we got up absurdly early and, and hiked up to the top of this causeway bridge that, that closed every time. We were there to get you know, our, our final photo. We had spent a good amount of time taking photos for context, but we just needed the one final shot to wrap it all up. We even re rented this ridiculous lens to get it with. So this was going to be the culmination of both our, our photography project that we had spent months on, but also a perfect bookend to a childhood spent dreaming about space. So while we're waiting up there for the familiar countdown, all of a sudden, over some loudspeakers that we didn't even know existed, comes, due to problems with the orbiters, auxiliary power, blah, blah, it was canceled. And it wasn't going to be a quick fix. This was going to be a while. So you know, our, our, our project was scrubbed, too. And what are we going to do? We waited around for a few shitty days in our shitty hotel room, but we had stuff to get back to. My wife was about to have a baby any day. So we left with the sort of symmetry between our failed project and the general disappointment in the cancellation of the, the entire program. But we had come to Florida to see something launch into space. And luckily, this being Florida, liquor stores and fireworks stores aren't far from each other. 
So we got to see something launch into space. So even though I never got to see a shuttle launch, and I'm probably not going to be catching a ride on the space RV anytime soon, I do hope that space will continue to be an inspiration to the next generation of little astronauts. And if just one baker gets into space somewhere down the road, I'll be happy. Thanks. Thanks, Peter.